welcome to my channel and today I'm gonna show you how to create the effects from the music video mic drop from BTS but basically zero cost the red room select the clip that you want to apply the color change go to the color settings and then select color with global we're gonna bring to red you can see it's bringing already that color and highlights we're gonna bring to red too but then exposure you can adjust the contrast and if you think it's too much the color you can go to saturation and bring it down pretty cool right the next is gonna be the x-ray effect i'm gonna do a cut in the beat on the part that i want to do the effect command b and then here it's gonna be command b again so let's say in this part we're gonna apply the effect we can go to the settings in the effects we're gonna look for x-ray there you go they have one over here perfect but in the colors we're gonna go to color wheel we're gonna add blue to the image because that's what they did and then in the shadows i'm gonna make it darker and then another thing that you can adjust is change the temperature to blue haze or smoke i'm gonna leave the link in the description down below not a sponsor nothing okay and for this effect it would be very easy to recreate using this fog drag on top of your timeline boom and then we're gonna go to the effect settings here you see the blend mode we're gonna switch to add so now we're gonna remove all of these black parts you can go in transform to adjust the size but doesn't look very clean to me so what we're gonna do go to the colors we're gonna go to the color curve in the dark and the brightest we're gonna bring the dark down you see how that takes even more the dark tones and the brightest we're gonna bring a little bit higher just to increase that sharpening and then you'll see that it's a little bit too much but if that's what you're going for i'm just gonna bring the opacity a little bit down to 50. and for this effect i think it's very cool because literally the only thing they need to do is stay in the same place and very easy very simple put on a tripod again and the only thing they need is two takes one is me and the other one is just the space but we're just gonna drag a little bit here command t to create a fade and just like that exactly how they did but if you want to add a little bit of zoom select everything option g create a compound clip i'm gonna do fade click here first frame the zoom on the transform we're gonna add one point now last frame create a little zoom and we don't need to do anything because we already added the keyframe on the first point and gonna create that little zoom in in the post production this reflection on the camera after you add the image of the camera that you want to create the reflection drag the take or the photo or the video that you want to put there in my case is this take from them i'm gonna remove these black bars by the cropping settings resize to this one and on the right and on the left as well the same thing again we're gonna change the blend mode to add and then the opacity is gonna be less and then the colors i'm gonna bring the saturation down to black and white if you want to be even more precise you can go to the effects here look for mask and they have a shape mask that you drag on top of that and you're gonna be able to see on the effects here the shape mask and you can just go and adjust with any size and direction that you want you'll see here without the effect first thing they need to do is put your camera on a tripod you're gonna record one just like this the center we're gonna record two and three right here on the side but then we're gonna split this right here let's go to the final cut pro and i'm gonna show you how you edit i'm gonna do one this pa i'm gonna mark with a m i know that that point i'm gonna show this take and i'm gonna drag on top let's remove this just so i can see right now press v and then the second one is gonna be pa with the sound there mark again and that's gonna be the second one so i'm gonna put on top of the first one and then we're gonna do the mask same thing that we did draw a mask i'm gonna draw a mask on this side here very easy nothing crazy and you see that now i select this mask to be visible on top of this that's why this is on top of that one and we're gonna repeat the same thing for the third take but now 
the mask is gonna go on the other side. But as you can see, it's cutting my arm, no problem. We can remove this. The shadow is a little bit different, so I'm gonna adjust the follow, fall off. And that's how they did, but with multiple people. This effect is pretty insane. It's like slow and fast, but in the same frame. Because pretty much you just need a camera that are able to shoot in a higher frame rate. So it can stretch and make a slow motion. My camera can do 120 frames per second. And that's exactly what I did. Like you see the guy is coming again, but now he's super slow, super smooth and high quality. It's because we have the ability to record in 120 frames per second or 60 frames per second, whatever you have, okay? Do the same thing. Draw a mask. I'm gonna draw a mask on this side here. Very easy, nothing crazy. And to stretch that in Final Cut Pro, it's very easy. You select the clip, Command R, so you're gonna be able to pop that speed settings. And then from there, just drag that. And that's how they do that. Tripod's easy because nothing's gonna be moving, okay? Keep that in mind for your music videos or for whatever you wanna do. Tell me, which music video do you want me to break down the effects? I'm excited to share everything that I know with you guys. Thank you very much for your support. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one.